So, Godzilla won the Oscars last night for Best Visual Effects. I wish it won Best Oscar for, um, or Best uh, Foreign Film, because it came from, you know, Japan. <clears throat> but, um, nevertheless, I'm glad it won Best Visual Effects. But, um, since it's my birthday month, this month, um, <clears throat> it's almost timely that this came in. So, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to, uh, for this rip and tear. The Mechagodzilla 1993 Garuda and Fire Rodan, uh, Makuhari Decisive Battle version set. I'm super excited. We're gonna get into it right now. So, this movie, um, I gotta rewatch it. I'm not too big on it. I do like the, I do like the effects, I do like the action scenes, I like Little Godzilla, I think Little Baby Godzilla is adorable and cool, but, I don't know, I just couldn't get into it. But, I do like the Godz I do like the designs of everyone in this movie. Uh, Little Godzilla, Godzilla himself, Garuda, Mechagodzilla, Rodan, you know, they're all cool and awesome. First of all, this box is ridiculous. <laughs> so here's the box, and here's the Monster Arts 1991 Godzilla next to it. I just, I, there's a lot of good stuff in here. 200 bucks. $200. That is so freaking radical, dude. <clears throat> they look awesome as heck in there. That's a lot of accessories. Let's get into it. All right. Um, back here. And I don't know if there's any tape along the ridges. So I'm going to just check. For that really quickly. All right, looks like we're good. No tape. There is tape on the back here with the G crushers, the G crusher cables that he used to, like the Godzilla used to almost kill Godzilla. I think it, I think it, they actually, I think they actually did kill Godzilla in the movie, which was pretty cool. If that was the last movie of the Heisei era, that wouldn't be too bad, but, uh, Destroyer is better. Sorry. It just is. Alright, so, we got the G-Crusher cable units back here. They were not originally meant to wrap around Godzilla, but they were meant to go plunging into him. There's their little sculpted arrow things. Those look dope AF. I love it. That is awesome. Bendy wire. Very much appreciated. And now... We gotta open it. So let me just plop this up here. Plop this down. All right. <clears throat> this is gonna be a big one. All right. Boom. Boom. All right. Case is off. All right. How extravagantly exciting. Wow. Okay. Uh. I don't know what to pull out first. We'll pull out the small accessories. So this is meant to help power link. I, <laughs> any of my Transformers fans watching this one, you probably should. This is a good reference right there. We have the power links unit for Garuda and Mechagodzilla. This goes on Mechagodzilla's back. Uh, which way? I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> uh, these nifty little, you know what? I'll just, let me put the, Got a little power link item right there. These are also for power linking. I think this is for uh, Garuda. Yeah, these are meant for Garuda. I forget what they are. I'm sure there will be instructions in here that'll tell me. And then we have the uh, we have the plasma grenade launcher for Mechagodzilla alternate belly piece. Looks really slick. That is nice. That sculpting, the painting. Oh, the painting. It's insane. We have the alternate battle damaged eyes 
for Mechagodzilla for when Rodan nuked his eye, basically, by pecking it. <laughs> you know, like that. Priest Wish. That looks dope. Battle damage is exquisite on that. Wow. Incredible. <clears throat> Alright. Big Kahuna time. Big Kahuna. Alright. This looks like Rodan's flight stand. Might be wrong. I'm probably wrong. So that's neat. And then we have the Garuda. There we go. It comes with the cockpit folded back, but uh, here it is. Nice. I managed to fold it down. There's Garuda. That looks swish. Wow, that is impressive. <clears throat> I'm definitely going to see how to power link this thing. There's Garuda. Has G-Force plastered on the side. Looks amazing. That intricate details, the thrusters. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Really glad I got this. <clears throat> so we got the Garuda. Within the Garuda is these alternate flight hands for Mechagodzilla. These are giving me some Showa era flashbacks. Anybody remember the missile hands he had? That's what they look like. That looks swish. Looks like he's going to spin them and then pew, 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 at Godzilla. Clean. Clean. Rodan. Or as they kept calling him in the English dub of the movie, Radon. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Godzilla English dubs just kill me sometimes. Hopefully they don't mess up with minus one. Uh, this looks really, really nice for a little figure. Oh, wow. Nice stiff joints, too. Articulated tail. Uh, I do not own the original versions of any of these figures. Um, so this set was a real awesome send because it's technically three monsters that I do not own and that are not Godzilla. If y'all saw my Monster Arts collection, you would laugh at it. It is awesome. All Godzilla. This Rodan looks nice. The veins are kind of goofy, but everything else on him is so clean, so swish. He looks awesome. Really awesome. Magnificent. All right. Put little Rody right here. <laughs> I call him Rody. <clears throat> here comes Rodan. Box. And then these stands. Oh my god, that's a lot of stuff. I think this is tape. Hey, yep, it's tape. Oh my god, look at all this. What the heck? Alright, one of these is Rodan's, one of these is Garuda. And technically two of these are for Rodan. Two of these are the flight stands. So let's have some fun, shall we? Let's see. These are for Rodan's wings, so you plug them in on his stand, and they'll hold up the wings, so that's cool. <clears throat> We're going to do something with that. I'm going to do a little bit of trolling, a little bit of trolling, rolling and trolling, rolling and trolling, boys. Here's the other wing one. Looks nice. Put that next to the other. Here are the Bandai Tamashi Nations. I want to say this is Act 5. There we go. Here are their stands. And then the bases for their stands should be in here. There they are. Man, I'm so excited. I can start working on a fan film for Godzilla. All right. Here are their stands. Get all that plastic out of the way. Boom. Looking clean. Absolutely awesome. All right, let me just throw all of this out of the way. All of this out of the way. Ooh. Ooh. Really excited for this one. <laughs> Ooh. My first Mecha Gods. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh, he is heavy. He, he has a weight to him. 
I feel the die cast in here. Oh, shoot! It's the feet! Oh my god, the feet are die cast metal. No way. No. Oh my god, he's got the MP10 Optimus Prime die cast feet. No way. That's insane. Wow. All right. Oh, wow. Nice. Ooh. Ah. Uh, ooh. Ooh, this is not necessary. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, the detail. Oh, wow. Ooh, okay. Limited on articulation, but this Mecha Godzilla was not a poser. This guy was stiff as a brick. Let me tell you. Wow. Wow, it's amazing he can move at all like this. He didn't move like this in the movie. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's insane. That's incredible. Paint job. Yeah, look at that. Look at the detail in the mouth. Wow. Insane. Absolutely insane. And for a comparison, here he is. I'm going to turn him around and face you guys. We're going to just put this down here. More plastic. Get out. All right. Flight sands really quick. Let me get this done. So here's my Godzilla. Boom, 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 bada bop, skeet bop, da da. All right, here is the Garuda flight stand. Ooh, that one in there, nice, tight. All right, there we go. Garuda and my Godzilla. This one, uh, hmm. Let me get these out. Hmm. All right, uh, you know what? I won't use these, uh, the Rodan wing flight stand. I will use the cradle that Rodan has. Here's, cr here's the cradle for Rodan. How it goes on him, I think. Oh, wow. All right. I used to watch a lot of these Monster Arts reviews back in the day as a kid, and I wish I could get them back then, but now... I can get them as an adult. Wow, look at that. That is a set right there. Fire Rodan, Garuda, and Mecha Godzilla. And for a size comparison, because I think most people own this Godzilla. Uh, if not, this is almost the same size as the Final Wars Monster Hearts. Here is Godzilla 1991, the closest looking Heisei Godzilla to this I own. I could have used a uh, junior adult version, but... um. He just fits better. Wow. Look at that. I have the whole cast of Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2. Only missing Baby Godzilla. And that's literally because they didn't make him yet. I don't even think they can. He'd have to be like a minifigure about nay big compared to these guys. But look at that. Look at this majesty. This is insane. Even taking Godzilla out, these figures are just amazing on their own. Rodan is impressive for a little guy. That's incredible. Oh, wow. All right. Cue the Transformers music. We're going to power links these guys live. Uh, I don't know where the instructions went. Oh, they're at the bottom of the box. Of course. Just like Transformers. Ow. Okay, what do we got? Oh, okay, so that's for flight mode. G Crusher. What's the Garuda look like on the back? Ah. Ah. Okay. Okay. So I think I can just pop this off. All right. Ooh. Oh, that's on there. Ooh, that's definitely on there. Ooh, I'm wiggling it. Shimmy. Shimmy. We're going to use the shimmy tactic. Shimmy. Shimmy. Okay. All right, enough silliness. Come on. I'm not kidding. This Mechagodzilla's feet are ridiculous, man. They are 
you could kill somebody with his feet. <laughs> like, his feet remind me of MP01. Uh, nice. All right. See? You just pull it out. His feet remind me of MP01, if any of you remember um, Ma the Masterpiece Optimus Prime. Oh, shoot. Which way? Ah. This way? Yeah. All right. I think you just slide it on like so. Perfect. All right. There we go. Mechagodzilla's back adapter is on. And now, Garuda. All right. All right. I think I know how to do Garuda. Push the cockpit, cockpit back. It is that is a sharp cockpit. Ow! Could kill yourself with that thing. Kill somebody with it. Ah! Let him have it. Okay. I think this. All right. One, two. Okay, these little side pieces have to come out. But how? God, I'm super excited. Um, <clears throat> I might need pliers for this. Or a widget or something. I, I, I think I need pliers. I'll be right back. Okay, we're going to do something a little different. I have this uh, screwdriver kit. I don't know what it is exactly. I don't know which brand. It'll say it on the screwdriver when I pull it out. Watch. Uh, I take it back. I don't know what brand. <laughs> All right, we're going to use this. And we're gonna use one of the flat heads. Maybe this one. Let me try and get this out. Ooh, ooh, almost got it. There we go. I knew it. All right, this works. There we go. Perfect. All right, left, right. Oh, thank God. Oh, collecting Tamashi Nations is great. They're labeled in there. They say L and R, so left, right. Thank you. Oh, makes life so much easier. All right. Okay, here we go. Yes. All right. There we go, y'all. Garuda is ready. And now... Transformers, do 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 dude, dude, Super Mecha Godzilla ready for action. Engage the kaiju. Destroy them before they attack the city. Look at that. 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 Look. I feel like Gordon Ramsay right now. Holy crud. We'll get Godzilla's mouth open for a roar. Then, look at that dude, dude, this is the coolest thing ever made in the history of mankind. Oh my God. Oh my God. Megatron has competition. That's right. Studio Series 109 Megatron has competition and it's the Mechagodzilla set. This is, oh, oh, dude, look at that. Oh, it goes so hard. That goes insanely hard. He is so cool. He looks amazing. He looks incredible. <gasps> oh my god. I gotta look at him. Wow. Alright. Wow. I just, I'm flabbergasted right now, yo. This is the coolest set I've, I've ever seen. This is the coolest Monster Arts set ever. Because it's like, it's an actual set. This gives me so many memories to like the old days of like Transformers where they'd make like five or four of them and put them in a set. Like this is what that, that reminds me of. Except it's more expensive, but it's just as cool. And it's Mecha Godzilla, Garuda, and Fire Rodan. They look incredible together. This whole set, even the Godzilla. This Godzilla is widely available, by the way. I'm totally not sponsored by Bandai. I literally... Do not have a sponsorship. This is just me, like, tweaking right now. This is incredible. 
Wow. It's the whole movie. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Okay, I think I want to put the G-Crusher on here. I probably should have been doing that before. Uh, okay. Looks good. Okay. All right, we're going to just really quickly pop Garuda back off. So that way I don't break it or do anything. All right. Good job. All right. Now, it says Mecha Godzilla comes off. All right. You want a piece? No, I want two pieces. The two pieces real. Does it go on? Okay. There we go. Oh, it's a ball joint. That's interesting. All right. Got a ball joint. Pop off the belly. Just uh That's interesting. Got a silver belly. And then we'll pop on the G Crusher. Now, how did it go on? How does it go on? Okay, goes arrow up. Oh, almost dropped it. All right. There we go. Because in the movie, Mecha Godzilla had the G Crusher out. Or the, the G Crusher, their grenade launch, the plasma grenade launcher. I can never remember that. You think I would. You think I would, knowing how freaking nerdy I am. I'm like, like they're like, ooh, what's that? The cyber planet key. You mean the transwarp key? No, I mean the cyber planet keys. And people are like, how do you know that deep stuff? Yeah, you think I would know the freaking difference between a G crusher and the plasma grenade launcher. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. All right, now. <laughs> Voice crack. Now, now we combine. Bum 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 no no that that's a good action figure that is a great action figure this is so going on the monster arts shelf this is wow wow all right so yeah that has been my unboxing of the SH Monster Arts Mechagodzilla 2 Rodan, Fire Rodan and Garuda Makahari Decisive Battle Set. I, as of right now, and probably throughout the rest of the year, I would 100% recommend this set if you do not own it. Um, a lot of people that have been reviewing it have been saying it's skippable if you own the original figures. Uh, for me, I'm finally able to get in the line. Because as a kid, you know, as a kid, it's really hard to do anything without any money and without a job or without anything. <laughs> so now, especially since it's my birthday month, uh, I would 100% recommend you guys pick this set up if you do not have it. If you do not have a Godzilla, 1991 is a very good Godzilla to go with, in my opinion. But yeah, the whole, the, bro, I got the cast of the movie right here. So yeah. I 100% recommend these two and a half, technically three, figures. And um, I'm going to go watch Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2 now because I... <laughs> Monster X is next. Monster next. <laughs> so thank you all for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what you think. Consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. And um, oh no, there goes Tokyo. <laughs> I'm, I, I love this set, please, I'm, I'm getting more, yeah, it's gonna be a good year.